Hi everyone, this is Jay, and I'm going to go through another upper and lower body combination from a bar workout. So we shall begin with feet together, legs together. This is known as feet parallel, feet together. Gently hinge back into the crease of the hip as we gently bend the knees into plie, which goes into a position called high chair. So creasing from the hip, maintaining ears above the shoulders, shoulders above the hips, and if possible, hips directly above the heels, tummy in nice and tight. If I were to place my palm directly in front of my lips and perhaps there's a little small like ant or bug on it, imagine your breath is strong enough to blow that little ant away or to sound better. If there's a candle right in front of your lips, you want to be able to take one strong, smooth breath to be able to blow the candle away and that's usually the exhale to engage tummy in, navel to spine. From here, opening the feet gently from first into a somewhat narrow second, nothing too wide. If you want to go wider, go ahead, take your feet just a little bit wider. So just ensure that the middle of your knees are tracking with the tips of your second toe. Neutral pelvis, once again, I keep mentioning neutral pelvis because it's very important to avoid over protruding the pelvic floor forward. See that? You might not necessarily be able to see from the front or from the side, it's very obvious. You want to maintain neutral pelvis. Once again, pubic bone line up with the hip bones. From this position, same thing again, squeeze in and up. I've mentioned before, it's like a toothpaste tube and you're trying to squeeze all the toothpaste out of the tube. Inhale, grip the glute, resist the knees from opening up and exhale, squeeze in and up. We've done this in a previous workout. Today, I'm going to add the arms. The challenge is maintain nice and sharp in your hands. So even the thumb and the littlest finger tends to do this, yeah? Even the thumb and the littlest finger is nice and tight. And you want to line up your palm with the forearm beautifully. So we're going to extend the arms, palms facing forward, arms at shoulder level, root the shoulders. And when we exhale, we're going to bend the elbows at a beautiful 90 degrees. Looks like a number 11 in the monitor right there. So inhale, extend the arms. Think about someone you trust, best friend, doing handstand on your shoulders. Root your shoulders away from your ears. Exhale. I want you to sandwich the core. Tighten the navel to the spine for the grip of the glute and press. Inhale up. Exhale down. So you want to make sure so that your elbow is nice and lined up with the armpit. Nothing too low and of course nothing too high. Just nice and lined up with the armpit. Root the shoulders once again. Inhale up. Exhale down. And watch that your arms are always those nice number 11. Not only in the forearms but also in your upper arms. Inhale up and exhale down. Can we do this eight times together? In four, three, two, one. One, extend then bend for eight, extend then bend for seven, inhale nose, exhale mouth, extend then bend for five, inhale nose, exhale mouth, extend then bend for three, extend then bend for two, and extend then bend for one. Hold it, hands onto your hips. Notice your breath can be inhale, bending the knees, exhale, straightening the legs, or inhale, straightening the legs, and exhale as you tighten your abs, resisting. So the breath maintains smooth, continue to breathe accordingly. Now we're gonna switch breaths, whereby the squeezing in and up of removing the toothpaste out of the tube is gonna come with an exhale. So this time, inhale is down, and exhale is up. In the previous eight, it was exhale is down and inhale was up. So let's go now. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Can we do this eight times? Ready? In four, three, two, one. Bend and stretch for eight. Inhale down, exhale up. Bend and stretch for six. Inhale down, exhale up. And four, number 11. And three, watch your thumb and little finger. Two and one. Down and hold, take your arms out to the side, and can we pause here to finish it? Eight, seven, six, elbows facing back, four, three, two, one, hug into first, 
and release. And gently close the feet, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel. Feet together, legs together. Check your neutral pelvis again. Thank you for joining this workout with me. That's your daily challenge. I hope you enjoyed it. And for more tips and more bar tutorials, please do follow. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comments or you can direct message me. It'll take me a while to reply, but I'll get to you. And thank you again for the support. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.